Hello and welcome back to the Reapers. Now I've put, been putting off this video for about two and a half years now and so I'm finally getting to, uh, around to doing it. It's the F-15C setting up the joystick controls and it's F-15C from the Flaming Cliffs pack. So let's just get on with it. Options up here. I'm going to set our, F, our F-15 in this box and yep we've already got it. Uh, now I've already got my controls set up so I am going to have to get rid of my controls, you don't have to do this obviously uh, so I'm going to clear all that lot out, clear that lot out, I'm going to clear that lot out okay, so everything cleared now we're going to go through it step by step of setting the controls up that I use on my Hotess, my Hotess is an X56 Cytec Rhino, you will almost certainly have a different stick but I'll describe roughly where I'm putting the commands on my stick and then if you feel like you want to, you can um, emulate me as best you can. The good thing about that is if you go and then watch my guides uh, for the planes in the future it'll make a lot more sense if you do have your controls set up like mine. One thing to say before we uh, crack on is that if you have multiple planes in DCS then you want to try and create create as much uniformity in the setting up the controls as possible. So let's say you've got a, a, a two-way button for uh, air brake then you want to set that two-way button for air brake in all of your planes and so on and so forth otherwise it's just just going to be an absolute nightmare although it's a simple plane relatively simple plane to fly there is quite a lot, a lot of controls you need for the f-15c because you've got a big complicated radar to control and you don't have a clickable cockpit so it's all got to be bound to keyboard and joystick okay as ever we're going to start with the axis controls first Right, so the commands are listed down on the left here. Um, the keyboard column is here. The HOTAS left side, which is like the thrust lever side here. The HOTAS right side, which is like the control stick side here. So let's get our basic control done first. Pitch here, and let's go over to the right hand side of the HOTAS stick. Double click, stick forward, stick back. Okay, check it's got it, it has. So that's fine, but we do need to set up an axis tune for that. So dead zone of zero is okay, but you're definitely going to need a curvature. So 25 is what I use for all of my planes to keep it nice and uniform. And a curve of 25 is going to give us um, some extra sensitivity when uh, doing things like air-to-air -air refueling and close formation flying. So it's uh, something I recommend. Okay, then the roll. We're going to go move the stick left, move it right. Let's pick that up. Okay, test it. Yep, axis tune. And exactly the same, we're going to have 25 on that curve there. Okay, uh, rudder here, I don't have rudder pedals because my feet don't work. So we're going to have a twist grip on the uh, on the stick. So twist left, twist right, Just picked it up, test, yep. And exactly the same thing, thing. put in some tune to help with formation and um, and take off. You will need, absolutely will need curvatures in these, in these controls if you want to be able to fly good. Okay, that's that. Thrust. Uh, so this plane has two engines, so you're going to have a thrust left and a thrust right. So let's unlock my thrust HOTAS, and it's going to be on this side. So left, up, and down. Let's pick it up. Test. Yep. We're going to keep it linear because we don't want any curve on our thrust. That would be silly. Thrust right, up, and down. Test, and it's good. Lock them up again, if I can. Come on. Bit awkward there we go uh wheel brakes i don't want that um zoom view is something you'll want on this analog axis command so i want to i always have it on my left here who does here and i have a turny thing i can use so up oh, there we go okay lovely now that should be our axis commands done so for the rest of them i'm going to go to search Let's get the left hotels done first, shall we? So first, I've got a, um, a two-way button switch here that I always use for my countermeasures. So I'm going to type in, so after search, I'm going to type in counter or countermeasures. So I want countermeasures chaff dispense here, and it's going to be on my normal chaff there, on the left hotels and flares there. So I want full control of my manual control of my flares and my chaff, okay? Uh, so that's that. Um, what else have we got? You'll see that uh, uh, all of the base commands have disappeared as well. That's only because I did a big clear category, category at the beginning. You will not be doing that. You will just be adding in the ones that I'm showing adding in. Um, I just I just cleared it. It was just so I could show you setting commands. 
Uh, right, so next we're going to search what do we want next. I like to add a snap view that allows me to zoom in when I'm in a dogfight. So uh, snap view. Uh, I like that, particularly like that one there on near 15, snap view 5. Going to have it on my left toe task and it's going to be ba -ba -ba, that one there. That's what I use. I do recommend it. Okay, that's that. What else have we got here? So we've got this one I like to use for air brake on my left hotas. So, oops, air brake. Okay, so two way switch, and I'm going to go off. Whoops, my bad. There, off, and on. Okay. Uh, next, I've got another, another one I like to use as my flaps, so let's get that going, type in flaps. I'm going to go flaps up and flaps into landing position. Okay, that's that. Um, I don't have an autopilot set up, I don't have any of that. Uh, what I do have on my left toe task is... Uh, these big iron switches and I'm going to use them for engine starts and stops so try and get that engine so we've got engines start and stop I'm going to have that on my left toe task here engine stop there and I want the ability to just shut off one engine and start just one engine as well so I've got other ones that we'll put in here that is if we get an engine fire get engine damage we're going to want to shut them down before they blow up so this whoops there all of my left hotels here all the big iron switches around the base of the hotels so that is that done and i believe that is the left hotels done right so next right hotels the main stick so let's start with the trigger um that is going to be uh, weapon fire so fire there we go that is rod trigger it's going to be on the right hotels pion there we go and our, my secondary trigger that I always have as my secondary trigger it's going to be a weapons release Pion. there it is, so that's firing missiles, the other ones are firing guns um, where should we go next uh, let's go down to the wheel brake that has my, I have as my universal wheel brake so wheel brake uh, wheel brake on right OTAS, click Thank you. That's that. I've also got one down here that I use as the uh, high gain nose wheel steering. Very important. Um, it's called nose gear. There it is. Nose gear maneuvering range. Funny name, but that's what it is. It's a push and hold type affair that helps you turn extra tight. So that's that. Right, where shall we go next? So let's go to the top of this hotel, we've got three four-way switches and a button so the button's going to be our target designator or, or our, I think it's called target lock Oops. so let's just try searching lock there it is and let's get him ping target lock okay and now let's uh, set the other ones up so the next one is our trim hat that we use universally as the trim so trim something you need in all planes super easy so left wing down it's going to be mat nose down nose up right wing down and I usually don't set a uh, rudder trim on my hodas so I just leave that on my keyboard as it's standard binding uh, because I just don't use it enough right okay uh, where next is the uh, my uh, I have another um, four way switch on my right hotas as a generic uniform target designator tdc um slew so target designator and there they there it is very important thing you'll have in basically any plane modern plane, plane target designate down so here we go pyong and left pyong and right pyong and up pyong go uh, it has a, a to center as well, but I never use that. I never really find that you need to use that. Okay, next is our, uh, our third four-way hat switch, and we're going to use that for our sensors. So let's see if we can track down the word sensor. That's No, it's not. Let's try mode. 
yeah, I think that's good enough. Lots of different um, uh, uh, modes that you can put the F15 in. You've got navigation, beyond BVR, vertical scan, bore scan, longitudinal aiming mode, and I think you've got another one as well that I can't see there for some reason. I don't use them all. Um, so, uh, on my HOTAS, sorry, I don't have them always at the HOTAS. I have the three most useful ones, which I find beyond visual range, which I'm going to set up on my on the on my mode my sensor hat as I call it um, so that's going to be a left um, vertical scan I like to have as well if I'm in a dogfight and bore sight just general use searching I'd like bore sight so those are three modes I don't I don't use um, navigation and longitudinal any mode on a quick reaction hotas and now the last uh, switch I always have the down part of, of my modes or sensor switch as gun select it's an emergency select for the guns so that's just how I like to do it so it's probably going to be under guns uh, it's not sorry cannon um, so I'm going to have that as the down of that okay so that looks like my entire hood has done and set up and ready to go now there are radar lots of other radar commands when you set as kind of a bit more quick access uh, however I'm out of controls on my HOTAS so we're going to add them to um, uh, somewhere on the keyboard that's a bit more useful okay and I like to add so if I overflow on the HOTAS I like to sh go to the kind of numbad area which is the right hand area of the keyboard so off we go uh, first thing in fact um, ignoring that first thing is TWS so I like to search that can't remember what it sets it out as default but to toggle between RWS and TWS um, range wall scan and track wall scan mode something you'll be pressing all the time basically in the F15 I like to set it on my keyboard as O so that it's right next to I, I turns the radar on and off so in an F15 you'll be turning your radar on and off lots for tactical reasons and you'll be switching between RWS and TWS lots for tactical reasons, reasons and um, so I like to have them together so I can go O I I I O O O like that all the time okay uh, so that's that next let's move on to the numpad area so uh, we've got display zoom display zoom so this is the display zoom of the radar um, something you'll be again changing all the time and um, so you can zoom in to look closer into the radar or zoom out look further out in the radar I have it on my numpad so if I'm going to zoom in it's the numpad plus zoom out Numpad minus. Next is to change the scan zone of the radar. Scan zero. So scan zone up or down. You know that aims uh, aims the elevation of our radar up and down. And scan zone left or right. I can't actually remember what it does on the F15. I know on the flanker, it literally uh, yours the dish over to the left and to the right. But uh, it does do something. But anyway, just just set it up. And I've got uniform uh, commands for these on the numpad. So down is two, numpad two, up, numpad eight, left, numpad four, right, numpad six. So they're all there. I can shift off that right hotel, really easy and get there. Okay, um, next is our PRF, so our uh, pulse repetition frequency. If you like the frequency that we're sending our radar pulses out, is something you'll need to change a lot. Make it something nice and easy to press. I've run out of space on my hotel, so we're going on to the numpad. So I know I'm not sure how it. Oh, there it is. Look, pulse frequency select. Something you can bang on quickly, and I want it zero on my numpad. Okay. Uh, last thing I think on my numpad is predicted target range. Increase, decrease, and I think I want that as increase from memory, and I'm going to have that as delete on my numpad. I personally use that. It's just a cheeky little thing I do to help me uh, go to a wide azimuth of search. It's probably not the best way of doing it, but it's just a little thing that I do. You probably won't need that. Right, so that's shown how I set up the F15. I know it's not perfect, but it's you know it's just what I've got. It's what my universal setup is. I hope that might help someone, and we'll see you later.